All right, so today I wanna to try to turn this horn here into a drinking mug. So I guess the way this is traditionally done is you heat up the horn with like a boiled lard and it has to get up to like 320 degrees. At which time it makes the horn pliable and you can bend it into whatever shape you're looking for. I have no lard to heat up, so I'm gonna try doing it with a heat gun and see if that works. For starters, I need to assess, first of all, how tall I'm gonna have this little cup be, so I know right where to make my cut. I don't wanna cut all the way through it. I'm gonna leave a strip of bone that I can then heat and bend back around to make kind of the handle for my horn mug. And I think this being about an inch, inch and a half wide, should be enough. Also, I'm gonna to wanna to get as much as I can off the part that's gonna kind of wrap around because it does have to cover more distance, right, on that wrap if I want it to go all the way to the bottom here. It can only go up so far, though, because the very tip of the horn here is actually completely solid. All right, so now that I have my lines, I'm going to go ahead and cut them with my Dremel. I'm sure you can get it done with, like, a hacksaw or something, but uh, the Dremel is just going to save me a bunch of time. Quick note, if you're working with horn or bone or any of that kind of stuff, you definitely want to wear a mask. The dust this causes can really be harmful, so yeah. Also, from my last experiences, it smells like hell, so be ready for that, too. Okay, in retrospect, doing this in my workshop was a bad idea. I recommend, if you're doing your cutting of bone or horn, do it outside. It smells like if cigarettes and burnt hair had a child. It's horrible. It's horrible. But I do have it cut now. My plan from here is to thin this out a little bit more and also to kind of round off this little bulb end I got going on here. To get it where I want it, I decided to just bust out this sander and make a little bit more dust. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Using that though, I was able to get it pretty uniform and also round off the very tip of the horn here. Oh, so much, so much dust in my eyes. <laughs> so with this all sanded and the top kind of rounded out how I want it, it's time to try to apply some heat and then bend it into position. If it's going to fail, I think this is where it's going to fail. If I do it wrong, I think it's just going to become brittle and crack. So the thought here is to heat it up enough with the heat gun that it becomes malleable for me to bend it. All right, wish me luck. All right, so now I'm just trying to apply as even a heat around it as I can, right where I want it to bend. Yes, that's working, hell yeah. All right, this has stayed in shape and it wasn't that hard to bend. I'm actually really encouraged by this. So let's see if we can make the rest of it bend that easily. I'm hoping it doesn't like crack or anything. This worked out great. By heating it evenly and going slow, I'm able to bend this pretty easily into the kind of mug handle shape I'm looking for. Just holding it as tight as I can while it cools off and I think Oh my god, check that out. It's perfect. So it was like dicey there for a second because I kind of heard it cracking underneath the heat. But check that out. When it cooled off, it stays exactly where I put it. I'm genuinely excited about that. Look at that. That's a little mug. This is coming out way better than I thought it was going to. We're not out of the woods yet. The next part's a little dicey too. We need to heat up the bottom and then we need to put a wooden plug in here. But still, so far, exciting. Okay, from here, I'm just gonna try to bevel this little ring here so that the plug will fit in easier. And to make my plug, I'm just using a piece of wood here and tracing around the outside of my horn. Next, I cut that shape out with my bandsaw, and then I bevel the edges on the top just so I can get it to start to fit into the horn. So this is what we're looking for right here. We want it to taper so that it can fit inside and then get wider towards the end. This way, when we heat up our horn, it's gonna stretch around this and make a tight seal. Not gonna lie though, this part makes me nervous because if this cracks, like it's a cracked cup, it's done. I think, I think this is gonna be all right. I'm excited about this. Again, I'm just heating this as evenly as possible. I'm also gonna heat a little further from the edge just because I'm afraid if it don't, that's where the tension is gonna end up and it'll be stress cracks. Now, I should be able to just kind of place this, maybe if I kind of carefully tap it down, and I think that's as far as I can go. Yeah, see here, the thinner part started to split a little bit, but they're minor and the rest of the seal seems pretty tight. Like I don't see any daylight through it at all or anything. So I'm gonna chalk that up as a win. I can dress up those cracks to look okay. They're not into the body of the cup, so nothing's gonna spill out. So I like that. So since this plug fits in pretty tight, I decided just to drill some small holes and hold it in place with these pin nails. 
And with that secured into place, I can just cut the plug flush to the bottom. Then use some sandpaper to make it nice and flat. Next, I hit it with various sprays of sandpaper until it was really smooth. You know what, initially I was going to carve this, but look at those colors. I think I'm just gonna leave this as is. This thing looks great. So that means the last thing I gotta do is seal the inside with some beeswax, and then I wanna put like an oil on the outside to maintain that shine. The beeswax is simple enough. I just melt it in a double boiler, and then slosh it all around on the inside until it hardens. And then finally, I polished it up with some butcher block oil. And look at how nice that looks. I am beyond excited with how good this came out. Look at that. The natural color of the horn is just incredible. But, but, will it hold liquid? To test it, I've got me some mead here because of course I'm drinking out of a horn. Why wouldn't it be mead? Let's have a look here. Guys, there are no leaks. Oh my God, it's a working mug. Not that it's perfect, we have a little I'm proud of myself. This is a fantastic project to do if you have like a Ren Fair coming up or you just like this kind of stuff. Oh, this is, this is good meat. I really enjoyed making this project and I love how it came out. If you enjoyed this project or just kind of like hanging out and drinking with me for a bit, why don't you hit that like and sub button so you know when I release new content. But in the meantime though, cheers and keep leveling up you. I raise a glass to you for watching my content all the way to the end here. If you liked it that much, I'm hoping you'll check out one of these videos down below. Also, if you're looking to support the channel and help it grow, why don't you consider joining my Patreon? Link in the description below. Mmm, mead.